Hello everyone. I am Bishop Paul. Thank you to all the staff in your school for arranging this meeting and thank you for watching. You may be able to guess what book I am reading at the moment. You are correct. I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading about a vision of heaven which a disciple of Jesus had. It is in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. The disciple's name is John. John looks into heaven and then writes of his experience. He says, I saw a huge number of people, impossible to count, from every nation, race, tribe and language. People from everywhere, from all continents, all countries, all races. Perhaps a little bit like your school, though all those people in heaven are very happy to be together. They are all united as one family, knowing that God is the one Father of us all. Together they all sing the same song, praising God. You will be familiar with the prayer that Jesus taught, the Our Father. There is a line in the prayer, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we say those words, we are praying that what God wants will be done on earth, just as what God wants is always done in heaven. We are praying that our life here on earth will be like the life in heaven, that our life on earth will reflect the life in heaven. What does God want? God wants all his people from every nation, race, tribe and language to live together as brothers and sisters, knowing that everyone is equal, that we all belong to one family. Sometimes that does not happen on earth. There are times when people are treated differently, unjustly, unkindly, because of their race, because of their color, because of the country they or their parents come from. When that happens, God's will is not being done. As disciples of Jesus, our duty is to build God's kingdom here on earth. An excellent way of doing that is supporting, promoting and working for racial justice. That means remembering that all people are equal. Black, brown, white people. We are all brothers and sisters. We all belong to the one family. Secondly, never treat anyone differently, unkindly or unjustly, because their skin color is different from yours. Thirdly, Pray that what God wants will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That all God's people from every nation, race, tribe and language will live and work together in peace, recognizing that we are all equal. In that way, we can build God's kingdom here on earth. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, especially if you are in school. Goodbye.